Our art is our story. Art is not a decoration on a wall, it's not a pretty picture, it's our story. And the best way to document our stories is through art. Because it's not intimidating, it's not telling you what to think or how to think, it's not indoct indoctrinating, it's learning by, by experiencing it visually. You know, it's like your head, your heart, and your hands are involved, and and you you, you relate to the work through those same channels. Uh, when you look at the work of art, you know, you tend to like gravitate to what, what the artist was feeling, thinking, and what the hands were doing when they were creating the work of art. So our full humanity is engaged, right? And I think that's what we need, what we need to emphasize. And what this work is trying to do in context with the village. The project is a Filipino community village plaza. So the idea of community uh, harmonizes with the process of the mural and how, the mur uh, how art could build community. Because this is not like any other artwork, it, it's, a, it's a process, a community, it's, 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 it takes a village, literally. <laughs> You've heard the saying, it takes a, a village to raise a child. And so we bring here in this village, the generations together. So there's this very unique and great opportunity for intergenerational uh, experience uh, as they cross paths and as they work together on projects. Uh, and the mural is this great conversation piece to have our elders share stories based on what's represented in the mural. There's a saying in Filipino, it says, hindi ka makakarating sa paroroonan kung hindi mo lamang niyong pinagdaanan. Which loosely translated, you cannot, you cannot reach where you want to be without knowing where you came from. Well, my ultimate goal is for the young kids here that they will be able to walk into an American museum and see their stories, you know, in the walls of an American museum. That means we have arrived for me. We haven't arrived until we're in a museum in America, you know? And that's what I try to do here. It's kind of like a, a tryout, you know? Well, I must say in the 21 years that I've known Eliseo, he has really transformed into a great historian. Um, you know, and both in terms of Philippine history and Filipino American history. I saw this as like each panel like a memorial. So I wanted like, you know, sort of that's a memorial to the golden age, a memorial to the war of independence, a memorial to like Seattle's local community and a memorial to the, to the now and the future, right? So that's like the first thing I did in terms of like design. He continues to research, he continues to think very deeply about the history that he's drawing and painting in the murals that he does. And that I, I have come to really appreciate in his ability to articulate what is he trying to project in these murals and why the people in those murals are so important to our history. One of the things that I find really extraordinary about Eliseo is that he pours himself into research uh, and really trying to do something different. It's not just a matter of painting a scene, but understanding what that scene's all about, the history behind that scene. He is uh, as much of a scholar of Filipino history and Filipino culture as he is uh, as an artist that represents the culture through his work. To be uncomfortable, to ask questions, to be interested in Filipino art and Filipino stories, and, and to, 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 to be challenged to find out why this is Filipino, or what makes us Filipino, what makes our stories important, why did this artist take all this effort you know, to, 
why did he take it so seriously that he had all these images in here and spent so much time, you know, time to tell the story. I feel like the value is a sense of pride. It's, um, it's almost like a, a stake in the ground, like, this is who we are, this is where we came from, don't forget it. When they see a story coming out from one of the images, that that will bring them to a place, you know? That makes them feel more human, that, may, that validates their humanity, that validates them who they are. To represent things in Filipino culture that have never been represented before, pieces of history that we don't have a visual for, are now part of this mural and are now such a resource for those who come and see this mural. Well, it's a really useful way to catch someone's attention, especially if you make it beautiful and visually eye-catching, it'll draw someone in and begin to ask questions. What is this about? First, it has to be beautiful. It has to be, it has to enhance the building. And I don't know, this is like the, the highest compliment I've received so far. Alex uh, Roluda, who's the architect, came by and I told Eliseo as we were both stepping back, I said, Eliseo, the building I design is a backdrop to your artwork. And he said, no, don't, don't say that. You know, your building shines on its own. I says, well, really? I mean, I cannot think of any other thing that could like surpass what he said. That means that this is the main event. It seems like, um, you know, for me, it's coming full circle as a little child in the community center to be able to design, you know, the, uh, the senior center and the innovative learning center, and then to work with an artist like Eliseo. That's uh, like the dream project. The most that I've learned is probably has to do with Filipino history and like, um, different, all of the historical figures in this painting and stuff like that, like there was a long process before we started painting where we had a lot of talks about like, he explained all of, you know, the content and everything and where he got all the inspiration and what it all means and stuff like that. And that was like so much, you know, new information. But each day in the morning, he talks about like, you know, more thematic ideas, right? One of the interesting ones that we were talking about this morning is the history of cave art or wall painting and how it relates to, you know, mythologizing history and all that stuff. I didn't even know how unique it was until I put it out there, you know, like, <laughs> because we always think about our Filipino dragon as a, the same as the Chinese. But look at the dragon, it's not the same. It's, it, it, we have our own dragons, we have our own, you know, our own ancestors nativized it. What it means is that they used it to tell their own stories and there's love in there, an element of love, self-love. <laughs> but still love because of the love of your own story, your own culture, your own land, and, you know, and then share it with everybody else. Because without that love, then you're denying them, you know, what it means to be Filipino or what, what, uh, what in our culture shows love. This mural will be an inspiration to other communities of immigrants to share their history as an immigrant community. Uh, many commu immigrant communities have been coming to the United States since the 1800s, and so it's an inspiration for them to share their stories and to tell their stories through murals, through more writing, through the sharing, especially with our younger generation who don't get that education in our educational system. So it's really up to us in the community to share our history and to share our stories. It's so important. We, we wanted it to be written in Philippine history, right? So you can see that that from. We also wanted to, to reflect the progressive history of uh, any struggle of the Filipino and Filipino Americans in, in the area. And um, <clears throat> we also want it to be very colorful. Very Filipino, right? What do you expect? Right? <laughs> well, eventually, too, I wanted the public to have a default image in their mind of what Filipino culture looks like, to experience it visually so that, you know, they, they, they have an image in their mental map. And, and, and once we have that, we're humanized. 
You know, I'm, I'm hoping what they'll take away from this mural is that we are one people, that we have a common history. Whether you know it or not, this mural is about our history, not just Filipino immigrants, but Filipino Americans as well. And so we need to appreciate that whole history. We're a transnational community. And so Filipino Americans need to know about Philippine history because you can't know who you are unless you know your history. And the same for Filipino immigrants. You can't appreciate the struggles that have happened here in this country. You have to understand the shoulders that you stand on, those that fought against discrimination and for social justice. And if you can appreciate that history, then you will know who you are as a whole. So, maraming salamat.